as was expected this year's AWS reInvent conference, which is going on right now in US, is full of generative AI. And most of the focus seems to be on AWS Bedrock. In that conference, many announcements are coming as what is new in AWS Bedrock. One of the things which caught my eye was the introduction around custom models or custom LLMs. What custom LLM in this Bedrock is that instead of using um, the base models like Llama 2 or Titan from Amazon or Coheres, Command Light and such models, you can fine tune or train these base models on your own data and then build a custom model. Or in other words, fine tuning. Fine tuning through AWS Bedrock is a new feature through which you can create a custom model. So what happens is that you take a base model like Llama 2 or Titan you provided your own data set and then train that model on that data set. Now that model knows about your own data, which could be your personal data, your company's data, and then your users can ask questions about your company's data through that base model. So this is what fine tuning is, and this is how you build custom models. The good thing is that you can do that through AWS Bedrock, through console, or through the um, AWS SDK Boto3. In this video, I'm going to show you both uh, methods as how you can do it. So let's get started. Let me first quickly show you how you can do it through the console. So I'm already logged into my AWS account. As you can see here, go to Amazon Bedrock Service and on the left hand side, click on custom models. Now, the step one here is to customize a model, the process which I just showed you that you take your data set, you take your base model, and then you um, fine tune that base model on that data set. Second is to uh, use that model. In order to use that model, you would need to purchase the provision throughputs, which I will show you shortly. Very expensive by the way. Anyway, let's get to it later. First, let me show you how you can customize a model or fine tune a model. For that, once you are on the Amazon Bedrock console, click on Customize Model Orange button. Once you click on that, there are two options. Click on the Create Fine Tuning Job. Once you're in the Fine Tuning Job, click your base model or source model. For example, we say, okay, I'm going to go with Coheres command line, and there are various other. Let me show you again. So there are Llama 2 13 billion, Llama 2 17 billion, Titan, and then Llama 2 um, plus Coheres command and command light. I have selected command light. And I'm sure this list will grow on and on. Then you can give it your any name, my new custom model. You can even encrypt it for security purposes. And another good thing is that if you don't want to expose it publicly, you can create a AWS private link so that all the traffic will go or travel through AWS's own network without touching internet. Now, you need to define the training job. The training job is simply where you point your base model to your own data set. So I'll just say my training job, you could give it tags, which are optional. VPC settings, if you want to um, access your S3, but I'm just going through public. Now, you would need a data set in order to uh, train your job, of course. So for the data set, let me show you my data set. So I have already created an S3 bucket, which is my test bucket for fine bed. It's the name of the bucket, you can give it any name. And then this is my data set dot JSON L file. And the output is where the output model will be. Dataset.json L file is um, where our data set is. For this purpose, I'm using this dialog sum data set from KN Karthik from Hugging Face. And I have just picked up three lines out of it just to show you the example to make it quicker. But if you want, you can put your own data set uh, with your own company's data. You just have to convert it to a JSON L file. JSON L format is simply a format where every JSON line uh, is in JSON format in separate line. Good. Okay. Now, having said that, let's go back to our Bedrock console. So just put your S3 location here, pass to your data, and this is our 
validation data set if you need it. Just I'm not using it to validate. I'm just using the S3 bucket. Okay, now let's go back to S3 bucket and I could just simply grab it, my bucket name and my file name is dataset.json.ll. Now just simply type S3 double slash S3 bucket name and slash dataset.json.ll. I'm just leaving this one validation step for now. Hyper parameter, um, the first is a box that how many iterations do you want this training set to go, this uh, more base model to go through your training set. I'm just going with one. If you want, uh, and there is a balance you need to do. Of course, you can't do it too much because it takes time and resources, but you can't do too less. So you just have to find the balance as how many epochs are good enough. Batch size, bad size is that how many samples are processed before the model is updated in one chunk. Now you need to specify learning rate. You just leave, you can leave all of these hyper parameters in uh, by default because they are more than enough for the testing. And you can read the description here. For example, learning rate is the rate at which model parameters are updated. And then if you uh, see the model sees any there is any loss in the improvement you can stop it here and then also how about patient is needed and so on and so forth anyway and then you need to place your output so you just s3 slash slash bucket name and then as you saw that i have an output directory or folder in this bucket so i'm just putting it there okay i signed off my console let me sign in back sorry I have logged back in. Now I have uh, we have specified output data. Now service role name. You need to have a service role. Um, in service role, you just need to create a service role for um, this Amazon Bedrock so that it would be able to access S3 and stuff. So you can either specify an admin role here for the testing, or if you want to see which permissions are needed, you can click on this view permission details. And once you click here, it is giving you the whole permission policy. So just copy it, create a new role with trusted um, entity as bedrock.amazon.aws, and then it would be able to do that. Then click on close here. And once that's done, just click on fine tune model and your training job will be submitted. So this is one way of doing it. Let me show you another way where you can do it through code and which is the way I would always prefer. Let's go to my code editor. So this is the code I'm going to use and this is VS Code Editor. So let me walk you through what is happening. First, make sure that you have Boto3 or AWC CLI installed on your system, which will have Boto3 and then import those libraries. Afterwards, I am just getting Bedrock client from with Boto3, specifying Boto, Bedrock runtime. And then this line is simply printing which models in bedrock support fine tuning so i'm just printing it for you once that's done um, i'm just specifying bedrock base model id so in this one as i mentioned i showed you on the console we are just using command light model from cohere job name you can give any job name model name custom model name i'm just giving my own names here and then this is the function which I'm calling with that client create model customization job customization type is fine tuning job name which we specified above custom model name role which I just showed you and you can create it manually and then specify ARN or Amazon resource number of this role here base model ID which we have just specified here and all the proper parameter you can put it in here with all the default values then our training data config and our output data config will be here. Same thing which we did in our console. Once that's done, we can submit the job and then here we can get the status back. Once the training is done, it will show completed. Okay, now let's run it. So I'm going to run this code in my VS Code terminal and I'm simply calling the Python with the program name. So now let me press enter. I ran that code and got this error that my account is not authorized to invoke this API operation, which is create model customization job. So I believe I would need to open 
um, an AWS support case to get it uh, maybe approved or somehow from some console. I really hope that they would make it easier to use it because I can use a lot of other features of Amazon Bedrock. Okay, so I will just comment this portion uh, of code, but I will show you how to iterate through and see which models support this fine tuning. So let's go my to my code and change it. Okay, so I have altered my code and all I'm doing now is just iterating through the bedrock models and checking which customization type is supported in which model. So let me run this code here. Running and there you go. So you can see that, for example, this Llama 270 billion one is available and this model is supporting the fine tuning. And then all the modalities, text image, what exactly modalities there. Similarly, you can see that Llama 2 13 billion is hopefully also supported. Let me scroll up a bit. Hopefully, it will let me. Where is the scroll button? There you go. So you, you can see it is supported. Command light is supported. And Cohere is supported. So all of the model which it supports are here. And you can work through them. Okay. Now, let me show you one more thing about this provision thing, what exactly this thing is. So let's go back to AWS console. So as you might have remembered, when we were checking the custom model, the first step is to customize the model and train it, which I just showed you how to do it, both in console and code. And second step is that if you want to use that model, before that you would need to purchase provision throughput. So that you could load those custom models in your code or in the playground. So click on purchase provision throughput. Then maybe just give it any name, test here. Like the model I'm just going with, let's say coheres command light. And then model units, maybe I'll just go with one just to show you. Commitment, I'll just go one month. There you go. Still for one month, you would need to pay 5,000 US dollars just to use their model. How expensive that is and if I and it is just one model unit only one and you would also need to request it in AWS support so it's not that straightforward you can't use it straight away now if I go with for example Amazon's Titan model let's go with the generator one go down model unit one commitment one month almost 12,000 US dollars so very expensive. Also, there are some limitations that once it is purchased, you can only update the model to another one with the same lineage. You can't go with to the other model. So if you are using Amazon Titan, you can stay within that. You can't use Cohere or anything. Also, you cannot edit the model unit or commitment term. So it is hard coded. If you go with six months, it might be a bit cheaper because you're committing for a long period of time, still $10,000. So this is what you need to remember if you're going to use this bedrock. But anyway, still, uh, you know what options are there if you want to fine tune a model with Amazon bedrock. So this is it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or thought, please put them in the comments. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.